<laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to the Speakeasy. I'm Zach. And I'm Jake. And we are the Dirt Road Men. Well, yeah, we are. Sorry, I'm lighting a cigar. Speaking of cigars, that's the subject of today's talk video. I like cigars. Let's talk about them. So recently, and by recently I mean within the last few years, the FDA had to release a study where they found out that if you smoke one to two cigars a day, and these are like premium cigars because some of the gas station cigars like Black and Mild still use the same tobacco. If you smoke one to two cigars a day, your increased risk for cancer from normal is zero. It's negligible. However, uh, one thing I know I hear from a lot of people about my smoking cigars is that it's going to cause cancer for me. So, instead of just responding with, something's gonna get me, uh, I thought I would make a video and let you guys know eight things more likely to give you cancer than cigar smoking. Thought that was pretty straightforward way to go. Sounds great. You wanna go first? <laughs> yeah, this one uh, actually kind of pertains to me. Because <laughs> I'm in sunlight. Sunlight. Being in the sun a lot without sunscreen equals skin cancer. Yeah, that's... What is sunscreen? Is it like a shade exactly. you carry around? <laughs> yeah. Um, my granddad had skin cancer a lot. A lot of people have had that problem. Uh, Hugh Jackman, notably, has had that problem. So, literally walking Whoa. around in the sun without sunscreen too much can give you cancer, and is more likely to give you cancer than smoking cigars. Huh. Number two. This one might pertain in particular to our audience. <laughs> Owning a diesel vehicle. Uh, frequently breathing diesel fumes, so being outside your diesel vehicle near the exhaust, whatever, it's got a sweet uh, smell. has been shown to drastically increase cancer risk in the cardiovascular system. Huh. Which kind of sucks, because I actually genuinely like the smell of diesel and diesel exhaust. Yeah. Uh, diesel exhaust, uh, Marlboro Reds, and uh, fresh asphalt. <laughs> so, if you smoke cigars and you have a diesel truck, and you have to pick one to get rid of because your wife thinks you're going to get cancer, you're better off getting rid of the diesel truck. Mmm. You know Number what? three. You know what, though? 100% mm. of people who don't smoke and don't drive diesel trucks still die. Yep. <clears throat> Sex. <laughs> Specifically, unprotected, unprotected, unprotected. Is that you reading or are you talking that's sucking right now? <laughs> well, the first time I stumbled and then the second time I was making fun of myself. Oh, okay. Unprotected sex. Um, HPV is one of the several things that can be transmitted sexually that is known to cause cancer. Now, hold on on that one. That's only in women. Okay, unprotected sex with people you don't know, or, well, you know. Yeah, because, it. well, I mean, if you've known them for ten years, but this is the first time you've slept with them, and they've slept with, say, a slew of okay. men, like a, like a soccer team. Or something. Yeah. Okay. I said men. Uh, a football team. An American football team. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or a rugby team for... Hey, yeah. Across Dude, the that's, that's more butch than uh, American football. In my personal opinion. Yeah. <laughs> Especially the new regulations. But that's neither here nor there. Um, yeah. So that's, that's kind of a given. That's one a lot of people know. Uh, Being a slut. Also... This is rough. I knew I was going to have trouble putting this in a video, so I didn't write it down so it didn't get said. Uh, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, butt sex also <laughs> increases your risk of colon cancer. Oh, man. If you're on the receiving end. So, uh, sorry women who are cool with that and gay dudes. Um, or you weirdos that like one-up the uh, shoot. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Number four. And this one actually surprised me a lot. Yeah. Woodworking. 
uh, in something like 2011, they figured it out, and soon after that, a woman actually won a lawsuit against a woodworking company that her husband had worked for. Hmm. Uh, inhaling sawdust over time has been shown to uh, greatly increase your risk of cancer, actually cause cancer in your uh, nose and throat. So inhaling sawdust actually is more risky to your health. Working on wood in your garage is more risky to your health than having one or two cigars a day. Work that wood, but smoke cigars instead because it's healthier. Buying an old home. Uh, many old homes uh, around us, is it, oh, around the U.S., have lead paint and asbestos. asbestos. Both of which cause cancer. Yeah, asbestos. Mesophilioma. Yeah, um... Big word for me. That's that's also another one that a lot of people just don't think about, but literally just... Let's say you bought a house that was built in 1950. Way more likely to give you cancer than uh, the cigars you may smoke in said house. So, so what you want to do is just go ahead and smoke a whole bunch of cigars and just coat them walls. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Here's one. Diet soda. Because there's a pretty good chance that somebody that cares enough to tell you not to smoke cigars and think about your health probably has a diet soda from time to time. Aspartame, which is in most diet sodas and most artificial sweeteners, looking at you, Splenda, uh, has been shown to cause cancer. And so if you drink a decent amount of diet soda, yeah, cancer. So diabetes or cancer, I'll take the diabetes, thanks. There are, there are um, for the diabetics, there are non-aspartame containing diet sodas. There are. Um, Find them. And there Coke you Life think. is one. They use that stevia, and stevia doesn't contain yeah. aspartame. Stevia is actually, out of all the, the non-sugary non -sugar sweeteners, I think I like stevia the best. Mm-hmm. Um, Till we figure out that it causes cancer somehow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think you'll like number seven. Brushing your teeth. Why do I like number seven? Because it's random as hell. Okay, I brush my teeth. I wasn't saying you don't brush your teeth. Brushing your Let's... teeth. Fluoride, which is how the government controls your mind, um, <laughs> <laughs> is in both to toothpaste and has been shown to cause cancer with, with prolonged, prolonged exposure. exposure. Yes. Like, I, I can read your handwriting. Well, exposure is kind of sandwiched there at the end, so. Um, context clues. Okay. With prolonged expertise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, the reason I thought that was handy was, uh, if your wife ever gets on you for cigarette smoking, you can point out that also brushing your freaking teeth, which is something you probably do at least once a day, every day, uh, is also likely to give you cancer. You know what she would tell me if I said that? Hmm. Use my toothpaste to stay yours. Uh, she has non-fluoride toothpaste? Yeah, she's got like all natural crap. Oh, well, there you go. I don't, uh, I don't care. I like the really minty stuff. And... <laughs> yeah. Um, number eight. This one, this one kind of hurt my heart a little bit. Grilling. Specifically charcoal grilling. Uh, the charcoal smoke getting cooked into your food, too much of that over time, cancer. So you're saying that propane is okay? <laughs> yes, uh, propane does not have that problem. Yet. That we know of. Here's uh, one of my theories. Too much exposure to just about anything will give you cancer. It's kind of like the joke Dad used to make where it's like, yeah, it's been shown to cause cancer in lab rats if they swim in it for 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that was talking about the uh, red dye they were using in, that they use in Kool Aid, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah. Or at least it was some kind of food coloring. That, that's what was it, you presented it to me with. Um, yeah. So no matter what you do, it sounds to me like you're at a risk to get cancer. Pretty much. It, there, it, there's something you do that is likely to give you cancer, and more likely to give you cancer than smoking cigars. So. Sunlight. You need sunlight. Everybody needs sunlight. 
your main source of vitamin B, and the sun is great for you. Yep. Unless you're out there for too long, then you're dead. Um, diesels, they're great work trucks, they're great family trucks, or cars. Uh, you can get some decent mileage out of them and a lot of power. Just don't breathe around them, or you'll die. Don't have sex. Don't play with your wood. Don't buy a house. Don't drink soda. Diet soda. Don't brush your teeth and stop eating grilled meat. Or, just do what you want to do. You're going to die anyway. Mm -hmm. And here's a fun fact that I didn't put in here because it's still way more likely to give you cancer than actually a good portion of these. And way more likely to give you cancer than cigar smoking. Is cigarette smoking. Something like 60 to 70% of people that smoke cigarettes mm -hmm. never get cancer. Oh, they can well, smoke their whole life. That's good to hear. Now, that said, uh, one in three odds are not odds I personally would like to play. <laughs> that would mean that if all three of us in this room smoke cigarettes, one of us is getting lung cancer. <laughs> well, good thing only one of us in this room smokes cigarettes. Yep. Good thing Momo didn't show up this week. <laughs> but... Yeah, I thought that that would be a fun argument to present, a video you can kick around and show people that your cigar habit, as long as you're not having more than two a day, is less likely to cause you cancer than all of these things, such as brushing your fucking teeth. <laughs> Driving your truck. Yeah, with the window down. Because, I, I mean, if you're getting exhaust in your cab with the window up, you're going to die much quicker than the cancer. Yeah, I was, I was going <laughs> to say, but you should probably go ahead and have that down. Even if you have, like, a brand new vehicle, things happen. Um, there was a group of guys who were out mud, and they, they had a TV show. Mm -hmm. Tell them about me. I'm oh, sorry. You get quiet when you talk to just me. Well, because you're right there, and they're, like, so far away. Uh, they had a... TV show, I don't remember what it was, uh, but they were out mud and they got stuck and we're waiting on somebody to come pull them out. They had the windows up and they asphyxiated. <laughs> you got there eventually. And yeah, so that's a, that was a bad day. Yep. So I think that's all we have for you today. I hope this video brought you some enjoyment and told you that uh, basically do what you want because you're going to die anyway, but definitely, definitely don't question your cigar habit. Can we see you again? I'm Zach. And I'm Jake. We are the Dirt Road Men. Hey everybody, if you like this video, uh, hit a like or dislike, comment, uh, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And if you really like what we're doing, uh, check us out over on Facebook where we post every day.